yet big dilemma. We came out with the goal of hunting raccoons and squirrels. And then we thought, well, we could also shoot rabbits too. Those are in season. And now we get where we're going and it's littered with geese. So. Well, there's something about a fuzzy squirrel 10 feet away staring at you that makes you think, eh, time to put the gun down and go back to looking for coon tracks. We found several fresh tracks crossing a log and then the trail led right up to a tree with a big hole in it. We knew this was gonna be a good place to set up. The setup's the exact same as the previous video, but this time I wanna explain the volume to use when you're calling. If you start off too loud at first, sometimes you'll scare the less dominant coons and they won't come out. But if you start off too quiet, they're not gonna respond. So here's what I like to do. I start off with a volume at 25%. You wanna keep it kind of quiet so they can just hear it. It doesn't scare them off. Then kick it up to 50%. You want to let them know that you're there, maybe make them think that you came a little bit closer and that they might want to start paying attention. And then kick the volume up to 75%. At this point, they know that the coons are right behind them and they better get out there and figure out what's going on. Try this volume level approach and I think it'll help you get more coons because you never know what coon is going to be in there, whether it's a submissive one or a dominant one. Just think, man. First time day daytime coon calling. I work just like you said too, man. That's a good one. That's your first uh, daytime coon, huh? Yes, sir. We're eating large tonight. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some coon and crow. <laughs> All right. Put him in the, wrap some tenderloin, some coon loin and some bacon. Put a hind quarter in the smoker. Put another hind quarter in the slow cooker and we're good, we're good to go. So give these off season hunting opportunities a try. They're a ton of fun, breaks up the monotony of winter, the cabin fever that sets in and gets you back out in the woods in the field with a gun in your hand. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on Total Outdoor Pursuit. Why are you just standing behind that house? I'm uh, seeing if this would provide better cover. Oh, okay. You might want to use your blind that's over here, but... I don't know what he's doing. Is this a good thumbnail pick?